Rick here again. Well, we've got uh, <laughs> we've got an accepted offer on a home that we're going to buy here, and um, so Thaddeus is with me today. We're going to do a walkthrough on this, kind of get an idea of what we're going to have to do, and give you a chance to see uh, one of these properties firsthand. You know, when we buy them, because a lot of times you see them after we've cleaned them out or after we've worked on them. But um, this one's gonna, this one's just fresh off the market i mean we haven't even closed on it yet we're here today to do uh our inspections so so we're going to film a little bit of this we might not film at all but uh kind of give you an idea what we got and uh yes spot's doing well he still does have his bandage on uh, i think i covered that in one of the other videos but we'll be taking that off soon so but he's doing well so anyway talk to you more later Okay, well here's the house. We're right across the street from the from the school, so it's a nice uh, little area. And this is actually the only house that really looks bad. The rest of these look pretty nice. So anyway, I, I especially like how uh, someone um, took spray paint and wrote the uh, house number on here. I'm assuming that uh, the city probably got after him because they didn't have any numbers on the house. So, you know, just take some spray paint. And Oh, and while we're at it, we'll just spray paint a little bit of the porch here, too, and maybe the floor of the porch, you know. So, anyway. Of course, the wind is busted out of it uh, in the door there, so. And uh, Thaddeus was kind enough to point out that they've probably taken a knife and stabbed the siding. So, anyway, sometimes you never know exactly what these uh, folks are doing. We'll see it when we get inside, but that's like a out over this porch. It's like a little. Of course, the window's messed up in it. We're gonna fix that. Mm -hmm. Looks like that window might be replaced. That's pretty decent looking. Definitely got to take this tree out. You never want to let trees grow up next to the foundation, and, uh, and especially within you know three or four feet. This thing is right up there, and when we get in the basement. You'll be able to see it's got some cracks where it's starting to push against the concrete block. So we're going to have to get these out of here. And uh, get some nice uh, window screens there. I guess that's uh, how you patch window screens. <laughs> so we may have to uh, do a little bit of something to that. Looks like the gutters are full and bad. And, uh, and uh, looks like uh, the roof is going to have to have a roof on it. So we're going to have to get... Ballman construction out here to give us a quote on getting the roof. They certainly did like their sawdust, but sawdust all back in here too. Yeah, they killed out that the lawn. Yeah, and all the junk that's been around here. Looks like they've had a nice little fire pit back here. <sighs> and there's some racing slicks back here. Well, I guess we get those too. <laughs> These are some nice tires here. Yeah, these are these are some classic uh, classic tires here. So, yeah, definitely have to do something with all that. City was out here today, and they marked the sewers part, uh, one quarter of the sewer line. So apparently, from here out to where it taps in in the alley, has got to be replaced. So we have to get that done before we can get the utilities. And it looks like we got a nice uh, barbecue <laughs> barbecue grill here. This thing looks ancient. Yeah, that'll be a. We'll have to uh, do a whole segment on tidying that up a little bit. Here's some more of the screens that'll have to be repaired. So uh, that one's probably that may be a little bit past repairable. I'm not sure. This looks like part of the front. That's part of the handrail that's missing on the front. Oh yeah. So that's good. Yeah. And of course we're gonna need a new HVAC system. This one's got a few vines growing up in it, so anyway. <laughs> I think we've got a little bit of problem going on up there too. I guess the wind must have done that. I don't know why anybody would tear that open. Now we may do a whole segment on this. This is um, how to clean a deep freeze. So, um, 
it's got some sausage down in there and some ice cream and looks looks pretty nice. Looks like it's growing. Oh, God, it smells awful. All right. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Ooh, yeah. All right. Well, let's just go right on down to the to the nice part, which is this basement. The city's going to require that this has a sump pump put in it, so that's part of the deal that's going to be done before they're going to try to get it done before closing. But if not, the bank is going to set up an escrow so that we can get this get a sump pump put in here, and uh, of course then the sewer line has to be replaced. So, oh, not replaced, but part of it has to be has to be replaced. Um, so yeah, this is pretty cool. I don't know if you can see on the. Mm, there's not much. Not much show on here, but just where you can, just where you shine your light. Oh, here we go. Let's, let's get some lights on. That'll help. <laughs> I mean, if you could get the full effect of all these spider webs down here, I mean, it's. Oh, and check out this. We got the the vines that are out there on the um, HVAC system. They're they're growing right in here too. That's pretty cool. God. It looks like a horror movie. Yeah. Now I noticed that they put in a new breaker panel over here, but I don't know what this is. Oh my. Oh wow. So they took out the old fuse panel and they just tapped in all the wiring. So we'll have to tidy that up just a bit. Uh, that probably uh, wouldn't pass a home inspector. No. So we'll have to check that out. And it does look like there's some knob and tube knob still and tube. in here, so we'll have to see if any of that's live, and if it is, we're going to have to take that out. So, and then of course this thing has got to go. Um, it's an old Mueller. Uh, man, that's got to be from the 50s. Um, probably about 60 or 70 percent of every dollar you throw at this baby goes right up the chimney. So. Anyway, the basement walls are in pretty good shape as far as they're not caving in, so that's well, that's what's important. I'm not worried about how dirty it is and, and all that. You can clean that up. Here's what I was talking about when I yeah. looked at this before. Um, this is the area that's under the front porch, and I always call these a safe room. In a storm, that's where you want to get because it's concrete all around you, but they this is completely full. So full that they even took an old uh, crutch and kind of held stuff back you know yeah. so uh, i don't know what else going to be in here there's some some quilts and some here here we go this is a coat see and a cooler and looks like here's the here's the bin you're supposed to put the recyclables in to put them out front so you know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway we'll uh we'll do a whole segment on what we're going to find in there. Hidden treasure for sure. Yeah. Here's where the water line comes in, which I was told that they've got the water line cut someplace so that it wouldn't freeze up, but I don't see where that's at. So we'll have to keep an eye on all that. Here's another. Yeah, this is still hooked up to knob and tube here. So we'll have to fix that. Well, that adds a little light to this. You can hardly see anything. Here we go, SpongeBob SquarePants. I think they just ruled him on TV not safe for kids to watch or something. I like him actually, so there. <laughs> I heard something about that anyway. I'm sure everything you hear on the internet's for real. There's a pair of glasses. I think Abraham Lincoln said that. Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> okay. Well, here's that wall I was talking about that's cracked some, and, and if you remember, that tree is growing right outside this area, and it's starting to push this wall a little bit. It's not anything that we can't fix, um, but mainly getting the tree cut down and killed, it will stop the movement of this, so, so we got to do that. Uh, the water heater actually looks fairly new. Let's see what here this is. 2013. So, we A.O. Smith. I know that company. I used to live across the street from uh, A.O. Smith factory in in Tennessee. Really? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of A.O. Smith uh, water heaters in this area. So, 
So yeah, we're going to have to check into that. I'm going to have to have a whole sweeper bag just to sweep all the cobwebs out of here. Yeah, I don't know if you can get the whole effect. That's... <laughs> Yeah, the camera Everybody. really probably isn't doing it justice. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, let's shut some of these off and let's go look at the main level and the upstairs. Interesting. The way this is all arched here. And these are these don't even meet. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. kind of I've never seen anything quite like that. That's um that's different. Oh, well, there's all kinds of money on the floor. Yeah, where are you? There's another, that's three cents. We're getting there. <laughs> yeah, I would like to take and open some of this up somehow, but I don't know. Depending on how the structure is, I think we're going to have a chimney here. I'm going to have to open some of this up somehow. We need to keep a bad bedroom down here, which is what that is. That's the bathroom. I don't know if the light works in here or not. It's on, so apparently not. Your matching set toilet and sink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like uh, somebody's been using that. Oh, here we go. This is so you can throw your laundry downstairs. You know, this is a nice <laughs> slot in the floor. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> Don't look like a bad hardwood floor. Well, that's what I noticed when I was over here the day we made the offer. I, I was like, I, this is that narrow stuff, and I mm -hmm. think, you know, Jared's going to love this because he can get down here and take all those stages. Yeah. It can take hours, you know. But yeah, I think it'll clean up, and the woodwork is mm -hmm. still pretty nice, actually. Yeah. I mean, uh, ceilings need to be retextured, but I think that. You know, the reason they're cracking and stuff is probably because it's been leaking, the roof's been leaking. Yeah. The doors are all missing in the house, I noticed that, but we can maybe put some barn doors on here. All the, this is that era of the 40s, the closets were always real narrow like this. So. Yeah. Anyway, Here's a nice classic switch. Uh, this where, you know, you get drunk and you're like, I want the slight <laughs> shut off so instead of just turning it you just kick it see and <laughs> break the light out so anyway i don't really know that i'm just making that <laughs> here we go here's how we properly take care of our return air ducts see you just when you sweep the house you just sweep everything into the return air ducts and then you know pretty soon oh here we go here's some dope down in here let's see what we got here uh, let's see Take one mouth three times a day. I don't know. I never heard of that uh, kind of pill, but anyway, it's empty, so there ain't any in it. Living room, there's some more pennies on the floor. Nice clean air ducts there. Now there's there's a nice looking door. <laughs> the only door in the house. Yeah, I think um, I think this probably goes here. I think with a little bit of glue, we can probably just put that right back together. They did paint the baseboard in here, but the rest of the wood is still the original oak. It looks pretty nice. We've got a new window in here, so that's good. I actually think that over at the barn, we've got a, an insert that'll go in this for a glass for that front door. Gosh, they took, wow. they took something and poked holes all yeah. in the wall in here they do that oh my gosh that's all gonna have to come down I don't think we can repair that that's, that's some heavy-duty looking texturing too yeah and they got the door to, the door is missing here too I wonder if that's what that door was I bet it is because this looks like part of it yeah yeah, so, yeah. Well, and then this leaves the kitchen, which is, uh, oh, here's our spoon so we can, you know, warm our drugs up before we shoot it in our veins, I guess. I don't know what that's for. Uh, and it does have a dishwasher in it. Good. So it'd be well, nice another... if, we could, if we could open this up to that room, but that chimney's going to be in the way, but maybe we design the kitchen around that chimney with an island or something and have the, 
like a dining room over there or something. So I don't know. That'd be cool. We're getting pretty good at ripping out walls. Yeah. I mean, you can't get the whole effect of the smell <laughs> on camera of this house. This is cool. I like that. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it doesn't look like it's been leaking either. So it may still be in good shape. We'll have to check that out. We actually might leave that in there because this is kind of where I was yeah. thinking about putting the bathroom right across here. And that would be kind of cool to have some light in. Yeah, I like the... In the bathroom, so... Okay. This is a fairly small bedroom. And again, you know, it's just handy to just kick holes in the wall, you know. But, you know, there's probably been some kids up here. I believe this, uh, I believe we're going to have to get seamers up here to change out this pane of glass. I think that's broke. But it's not energy efficient anymore. <laughs> oh, we got, the, this is the green light district, I guess. Check out the, let me see if I get that to come on. Oh, yeah. yeah see. Fancy. All right. Oh, I've got a shower curtain here, but I don't think that's a shower. I think it's just a closet or something. Here's that little room that I was talking about from the outside. It's actually oh, pretty cool. cool. Yeah, I think this will be, I mean, I'll, this will be just like a little bonus room. It's kind of neat, actually. It is cool. Uh, oh, it goes back in that way, too. Huh? I didn't see that before. Hey, and there's insulation. Well, nice. hey, that's a plus. Yeah. Yeah, and it looks like it's already insulated, too, so all we are going to have to do is... Oh, there's a nice poopy diaper. <laughs> Let's just throw a poopy diaper back in the attic someplace. But uh, we'll, we'll just have to get in there and make sure the knob and tube wiring's gone. It looks like it's already been insulated. That ain't, but... What we can, what we can do, what isn't? Yeah, this yeah. isn't either. This is a cool little room. Yeah, it's... it's and it could be really cool, actually. Forrest Gump. Oh, really? <laughs> I never know what kind of movie I'm going to find. Tombstone and Home Alone 2. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Well. Classics. I'd say this one just broke out. But, you know, if the parts are all there. We might be able to fix it. I do a whole series on how to, how to redo right across from school. Yeah, yeah, it's a great location actually. Boy, watch these nails when you go around here. I just now see those. Tallulah run! Hi baby!